Welcome everyone to the first highlights package for Lightning TV for the regular season. The visitors tonight were the Sheffield Steel Dogs in a repeat of last year's playoff final. But before the game took place, both teams stood on the blue lines for a two minute silence in memory of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Park drop from Hewitt and there is the first park drop of the season and a win for Jason Hewitt. And Steel Dogs look to come forward here. This is with Bissonette here. Cards up in neutralised there and that's picked up by James Griffin and now comes Tim Wallace with a shot through straight into the body of Tim Ostra. and Wallace followed through there, looked like he'd lost an edge and uh, took out the uh, Russian born netminder and Griffin that takes a hard hit into the boards there off of Doxy and Talbot looks to come forward now, finds a teammate there and it's Talbot again now, Talbot's got Callum Fielder him, he may not need him, Talbot! Shoot to the save there from Zimonstro and it fell to field and another save and he just hit it wide. Martelli's pass is picked up here and there's a chance here for the Steel Dogs. Block a save there from Headley and then the rebound was fired wide and Halden Barnes Garner will look to come through to the puck and he finds Grinnell Park. We have Grinnell Park here. It's on his own but he's got a backhanded shot and that's saved there by Zimonstro. End to end hockey, early doors here. Thompson now and he's just happy to play that to Tate, Warren Tate there still playing in his 40s now but still playing and looking as if he's in his 30s here, it's one of those players that just seems to have been around forever and a big hit there by Barn Barnes Garner but Lightning keeping it in the zone with Russell, Russell there stick safe from Zimostra as Bissonnette was looking for a rebound there Max now just wants to take it behind the zone and just try and calm things down and get a puck clear, but he's under a pressure there, and Bissonnette does well to steal that, and that's fine, Hewitt, and that's a goal there. Ed Nux was caught in possession then. Great forechecking from Matt Bissonnette, who forces a turnover, passes in front of the net to Jason Hewitt, who has had time to pick his spot. Just here, there. Nags had no support, and a great pass and a one-time shot there from Hewitt left Jordan Headley with no chance and Steel Dogs take the one goal lead through their top scorer last season Jason Hewitt that's just having to be dumped in there and Bono should get to that and does his pass isn't got enough on it though and Griffin's able to clear and Tim Wallace with a bit of skill there he manages to find Bobby Chamberlain Stewart now good play there but he's on his own a bit and he's got two Steel Dogs for company he does very well though Tim Wallace out front, looks to one-time it, but he missed the puck. Great play from Chamberlain there to assist Liam Stewart there. And now Stewart's got a bit of an odd man rush here. Stewart's got a lot of attention, and his pass doesn't quite find Bobby Chamberlain. And they're able to do so. Barnes Garner does well to read that and centre ice, and he does very well. He isn't quite able to get past his final man, though. And Palmer looks to come through here. He's got... Ben Russell there, and there's a delay penalty call there. I think that's going to be called on Russell. And the referee has indeed called a penalty shot on this one. Palmer skates now through. Goes to go wide, and he looks to come on a forehand. He almost lost the puck there, but he's still got control of it. And that's a big save from Headley. Palmer just miscontrolled the puck as he was skating through. And Chamberlain looked to play it around, but the other players have gone to the opposite side, so Steel Dogs will, should clear. They do find the stick of Stewart, but Stewart has to take it out of the zone. Chamberlain now, he's found him on a bit of a line change. Chamberlain looks for the teammate, doesn't quite make the pass to Tim Wallace, though. Thought that the opportunity had opened up there. Now Steel Dogs coming up away with Hewitt, and that's safely into the glove of Jordan Headley. Cleared out to Griffin. Griffin now to start in his own zone. He passes laterally to Nags. Nags with a pass through and Tim Wallace touches that one on and he'll get to that loose puck first. Plays that well against the boards. He finds Bobby Chamberlain there. Chamberlain there. There's a chance for a wraparound. Stewart hits in! Liam Stewart with the wraparound. Great awareness in the Lightning Man. And we've got a tie game. Great play from down Tim the loose park as he played it around 
Bobby Chamberlain fanned on it, but he saw that Liam Stewart was there. Zimostra was out of position and a great wraparound from Liam Stewart. That's played off the boards there by Palmer. Palmer then got into the way of the uh, linesman and the puck is uh, down by the boards there. Brammer uh, took a bit of a tumble though off of the stick of Sam Tolbert. But again, the uh, officials being quite lenient today, haven't called up. Norris now looks to get the uh, but gas burners going and does very well to go coast to coast. He needs to find an out. He finds Tolbert who gets the shot off and a good save from close range from Zimozdra there. And that's the end of the period there. And there's a bit of afters at the buzzer. A late hit came in. And as we've had before between Steel Dogs and Lightning, didn't take much for uh, the touch paper to be lit. There's a late hit that came in there after the buzzer, which the Lightning player took exception to. And then the handbags came out. See, would it be the Lightning or would it be the Steel Dogs? And we've had a puck win here on the face off from Liam Stewart. Lightning will be looking to try and utilise the extra ice here. And there's Bobby Chamberlain here with a lot of space, but he's looking for a teammate. He finds Stewart, he scores! One time from Liam Stewart! Dini's a monster on the glove side! And we've got a 2-1 hockey game. It only took 12 seconds of the 4-4, four four, but Chamberlain, he was looking for the pass, fired it across, and one time from Stewart. In front of block 10, and Lightning lead for the first time. Great pass out there now to Tyler Nixon. And then comes Liam Stewart now, finds Wallace. Wallace couldn't quite take the puck with him, and that puck bounced off the boards awkwardly, so Liam Stewart is happy just to return to the boards and uh, make a line change with Sam Talbot coming on. Good move there from the Steel Dogs. They come all the way through, and that's through the legs of Headley, and we've got a tight game. A lovely bit of play there. Skated around the man there and just waited out. Great play there from Lee Bonner. Just waits the man up, digs around Nixon, and through the legs of Headley. So that's been an event full of. Uh, been the bet for 4-4 so far, two goals in the opening minute and a half. A nice little spin there from Jameson, frees a bit of space and that's a lovely pass. A little bit too much on it for Grinnell Park. And Still Dogs will look to try and clear. Clearance around the boards, only hits Hall and Barnes Garner and that's good strength from the Lightning man. It's Jameson now with a shot low and a good save from Zimodra. And that's Rio Grinnell Park there. Some big hits coming in from the Lightning, and it's Buzz Garner shot and flapped out there by Zimostra, but the rebound falls to a Steel Dog skate. Stewart now finds an act. He's been on the ice for quite a while now. He'll be looking to get a change on there, and that was touched there by Chamberlain. And so Zimostra will look to play this. He can only find Wallace. Wallace now finds Chamberlain. Oh, now it's a shot from Stewart, which almost went in. The puck bubbled in front of the net, and it's Steel Dogs that emerge with it. That was well cut out there, and Bissonnet for a moment didn't quite know where the puck was after a bit of a disruptive play there and a good poke check. And there is a penalty on the call, though, so Lightning will now be sitting for two minutes. Well, I thought Nixon had done a good, uh, had done a good poke check, but he has been called for a high stick. But Steel Dogs were changing on the fly, so it's a chance for a couple of skaters to come out now for the Lightning. Stewart. Stewart's through it. He's onside. Stewart still. Liam Stewart. Saved there by Zimostra. Doxy now. Under the attention of Lewis Christie. And Tim Wallace does well defensively to clear the puck. And a big hit. And that's going to be called. Bit of a soft penalty, but it's a check from behind nonetheless. So this... Lightning have just killed one penalty, and they're not going to have to kill another one. Griffin will look to come from his own zone, and he does so now. He comes into the attacking zone here, looking to find a pass. Nothing doing, so he's got to take it round behind the net. Played a no-look pass off the boards, looking for Chamberlain, but doesn't find his teammate. He is able to get a line change, though, and he's replaced by Ross Green. A good steal there from Talbot. Talbot through to Chamberlain. Big save by Zimostra. That's good strength there from Martelli. He didn't buy the dummies and was able to ride that. 
Zane McKenzie now through, one-on-one -on -one with the D-man. McKenzie, good turn to... Oh, to Norris, and Norris bars it wide. Puck comes back now to Lewis Christie. Face-off win there from Wallace, and Nags is able to, well, try and clear. Battle off another blue line there, involving Steel Dog and Liam Stewart. Stewart there loses out, and then Bobby Chamberlain with a trip call there. Play did go down heavily. Big bizarre call for a roughing. I would have thought it might be a tripping call. Was, might have been the play on that one, but very interesting. But that's a good poke check there from Stewart to try and get the intercept. Stewart's through, and he gets the shot off even though he was off balance. Did very well, Stewart. Zimorstrom made the save, but fair play to Liam Stewart. He got the block of the pass there in the intercept, and he never gave up. Brown was not able to control that, and then he do return to full strength. This Hayward Shepherds the puck away from Talbot, but Chamberlain now fresh on the ice has come away with it. Chamberlain with a shot straight to Zimolstrovo. As Talbot now comes with that. Good pass out to Nixon. Nixon fires out when in, doesn't get through the number of bodies in front of the net though. Grinnell Park, number 89, tries to keep the play going and does very well. Chamberlain fans on the shot. Throws in front of the net, there's a scramble in front and the referee's lost sight of that so the whistle will go. He's a stick there but nothing doing again from the officials. The Lightning bench were convinced there. Oh, he has called this now, he's called something but I think it's, it's called something I think on the Lightning. And Sam Solbert's now being called. All the Steel Dogs start the season with the two points and go back up to Sheffield with a win or will it be the Lightning that get off to a good start in this season so it's win of this face-off circle for Lightning and they just dump that so Seal Dogs will look to try to come forward here and try and get a final attack going on this man advantage here and that's some good defensive work there and Tim Wallace has come away with the puck and there's an odd man rush here developing for the Lightning and the pass to Nags was just beyond the stick of the Lightning D-man. But Lightning are quite happy to cycle that one around and get the correct lines out there. Talbot joined in on that attack as he came out of the uh, as he came out of the box, but he uh, wasn't able to get the shot off in the end as the pass from Wallace to Nags was just a bit uh, away. Still dogs haven't scored on the power play, so they're 0-4 now on the power play tonight. Some good penalty killing from the Lightning. And good play there from Sean Norris and the player looks to have been hit off the puck there again the referees didn't say anything was happening Talbot now looks to battle with, with a steel dog there and Martelli was the, and the Scotsman finds the youngster from London Martelli now he's had a bit of pressure there from Charlie Thompson but he did well there under pressure and that's a good pass here to Talbot Talbot looks to try and get a shot off that took an awkward deflection and Demostra did very well to hold on to that one there. Again, and it's now with Griffin. Griffin with a bit of, a bit of space for him to uh, get the burners going, and he does so. He's looking for an outlet now, but he has to go for a wraparound. He finds Wallace. Wallace to Stewart, and the shot there saved by Demostra, and a very, very big save with the glove. It's a roughing there, but I don't think it was a roughing call. It looked more like a trip, but. There's still 16 and a half minutes yet, so Bobby could still uh, do a Bobby. Griffin now. If you do want to get your tweets into us as well, just at us at MK Lightning TV. And there's a call on that one there. And well, the, uh, the sarcastic cheer from the Milton Keynes fans will tell you all there is to know there is uh, Tim Smith gets called for tripping. What is now of a pass out? He finds Norris now. And Bissonette there. Played it off his foot there. I don't think he kicked it, so I had it gone in. It probably would have been a good goal. And then a hit there on Bissonnet. Which the fans like this time. And no penalty on the play either. It's just getting a little bit feisty here. It's almost like a playoff game, this. You wouldn't think this is the opening game of the season. Oh, and now look at this. Our players are kicking off here. Smith has taken exception to a hit. And Hall Barnes Garner comes in to disrupt this. And it looked like it was Lee Jamieson who took a big bump there. I know it was Rio Grinnell Park. My apologies. I saw the number nine flash on the back of the jersey, but it was yeah Smith and uh, Rio Grinnell Park having words. And I think both players will sit in the penalty box to cool down. 
Didn't see what stole that one off. I don't know whether Smith was a bit incensed after the hit from Grinnell Park that was on Vicenet shortly before that on the uh, play before. And both of these guys might just sit these for coincidental, so we may still see five on five. Nothing's gone on the scoreboard just yet. Nate Talbot. Talbot looked to play it back to Norris. I think the pass on for uh, Griffin would have been better, but Norris did well on the eye, went on the ground then to uh, win the puck back. And now Norris takes it behind the net. Still with Norris. Norris, Griffin! Griffin shot and a save! And the referee's by the whistle as it hit the visor and well, Norris didn't hear the, the whistle because of the because of the noise from the crowd, and then Zimosva took exception to that. And well, the 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 fans are incensed now here as he's called another penalty. He's called a penalty for a hook. Will Will Hewitt's lost control here. Hewitt, has, Hewitt is losing control here. He needs to calm this down because he's getting fired up now with the fans getting on his case. So, face off here with Stewart against Hewitt. 4 on 3 for 3 seconds and then it will go to 5 on 4. And a face off win there for the Steel Dogs. Bissonnet looks to try and make the most of his extra ice. And there's a chance here and that's a goal. Bonner fires it one time in there. And well, you can't hear the Steel Dogs fans cheer. They're all stood clapping, but it was just drowned out with the boos from the Lightning fans here. Great bit of play from Bissonette, though. He drew the man out I and mean, then drive the pass back and a great one-timer. It had Jordan Headley had no chance with that one, really. It was a great finish from Bonner. Griffin will have to play this and he finds Callum Field. Field with a cross ice pass now to Jameson. Lovely pass there, Jameson. Bit of strength, and the player just fell over there. Bell then tried to hit Jameson and ended up on his backside himself. And a face off win there, but good reactions there from Bonner that almost caught Headley off guard. Stewart now with a spin and a turn, and he looks to try and go through the middle. He finds Wallace. Wallace through, and that's a good save by Zimostra there. Quick release there. We've got a tweet to control it, and so Lightning will have to look a go again. Griffin now. Oh, lazy backhand pass. Can only find Morgan, and that just was very, very tired looking from the Lightning there. And almost through then, and Headley had to cover up then. I think that Lightning team were looking to try and change a line then on the fly, and that was a very lazy, lazy. And the face off win there for Steel Dogs. And that hit the visor there of. Headley and no whistle was blown on that time but here's a chance for Lightning to come forward now Wallace finds Stewart Stewart was able to get the shot off good defensive work from Tim Smith there Wallace there can't get through and Talbot now he's still got two players around him he was all on his own there does well to win it back but he's got no support and Steel Dogs will clear the zone again Norris from quite far deep here and he's Done very well to keep hold of the puck there. He's under a lot of pressure, but he's done well to emerge with that. Good pass out wide there. Talbot shots and saved. It comes back to Griffin, though. Lightning have pulled the net, mind. Jordan Headley is now out of the net. Chamberlain. Chamberlain there. That's a penalty every day of the week. And still does will try to touch up and look to delay touching up in the world. It's now going to be a 5 on 4 penalty. Lightning will have the netminder pulled. And I think they're calling for the timeout here. 107, a power play. Testing his case. He's refused to go into the bin. And he finally goes in though after a few words from the referee. So it'll be Tim Wallace on the face off circle. And it's a face off win for the Lightning. Stewart now. The net remains empty, so Jordan Headley remains on pool, so it's going to be six on four. Talbot. Lightning looking to try and work a shot off here, but good defensive work so far on the penalty kill from the Steel Dogs. Chamberlain fans on the shot, wasn't able to connect on it properly. Wallace finds Talbot. Wallace again, good pass out wide. Shokers, it scores! Scores! Sean Norris! Sean Norris! 
It's free all! Sean Morris fires it past Dimi Zamostra! And the roof has come off the building here. Great patient build up here. Pass there from Tim Wallace and Norris there. Fires it through the glove side of Dimi Zamostra. And that pass avoids the Steel Dogs. The icing's washed out though, so Lightning have to play this. And there's a, oh, a pass that went across there and almost found a way through. Steel Dogs though, hustling very well here. Kirk finds this one through, and that shot's blocked, a great block there. James Griffin sacrificing his body. And Lightning looks to clear the zone, still don't, but that's the end of that period. And another block shot from Chamberlain. And well, the, the cheer here, you'd think that Lightning had won the game. And that's a big battle there between Wallace and Hewitt, and that's emerged as a win for Hewitt, and it's Bissonnet. And that's a blocker save there from Jordan Headley. Kirk fires that one back around and finds Bissonnet. Bissonnet's got Griffin for company and Hewitt nearly ghosted in there, but it's well read by Headley. I think he just got a little tip on it just to disrupt the play, but Steel Dogs are starting well here in this overtime period. The puck's loose there, no one's seen it, and Lightning come away with it with Stewart. For a second there, the rebound was loose. Headley hadn't seen where it was. Stewart comes forward now. Dummies his man. Stewart scores! Liam Stewart! Stewart wins it for the Lightning! One shot, it was all it took! Liam Stewart ghosted and danced around Jason Hewitt and fired it past Simi Zamostra. A hat trick for Stewart, just breezed past him and then quick release past the netminder in the net. So a breathtaking 4-3 win, win in overtime for the All in Black Milton Keynes Lightning. After the game, we caught up with man of the match hero Liam Stewart and player head coach Tim Wallace. Joined here with head coach Tim Wallace after a 4-3 win in overtime against the Steel Dogs. Not a bad curtain raiser for the season for the fans, Tim. What was it like being on the ice and on the bench for that one, though? Oh, I mean, first period, you know, we I think we were nervous. I, um, I don't know, we weren't ourselves. I thought we were playing risky, something I haven't seen since since we've been here. Second period was shorthanded the entire period, um, so that was a battle, tough to get going. And then kind of in the third, made a few switches here and there, and that's kind of us. You know, we, we were aggressive, we um, played fast. You can tell guys guys want to win, and it took too long for us to for it to click, but you know, we found a way to get the two points, which is uh, which is huge. A bit frustrating out there, a lot of missed calls on oh. there, but um, managed to get it on that power play when it worked and putting the Goldie as well on the six on four. What was the uh, tactics on that timeout just before it? Was it just win, win the face off and shoot, shoot, shoot? Nah. Uh, it was the same setup as our five on four. I just put Big Jim in front. Um, needed to screen the goalie, he's, he's a big boy. and move it quick and Shawnee put up a good shot and the goalie couldn't see it so it worked out it was a huge huge goal for us and then um, you know Stewie took over in overtime. The fans again were amazing especially in those final few minutes and on that, on that power play and then in, and in overtime did you just hear the noise when Liam's winner went in? Yeah it is man it's loud um, you know even Shawnee's goal it was very very loud just so fun you know that's that's why most of these guys come back it's the fans and um, it's just I mean, I'm still playing because of things like that. You know, it's uh, it's a lot of fun to play in, in this environment um, with, with these fans, and you know, hopefully we entertained them, but I'd like to make it a little less dramatic next time. Long bus ride up tomorrow up to Hull before playing the Seahawks, a new team in the league, so is it a bit of an unknown entity for you tomorrow? A little bit, I mean, we've watched as much as we could. They've only, I think, played one exhibition game, so it'll be new, new environment for a lot of guys. Um, you know, if we're going to be a good team this year, we, we got to put two wins together. We got to get, we got to be consistent. And we got to have four-point weekends. So that's what we're, uh, that's what our plan is to do: up and hold, not down, right? Up and hold. Yeah. <laughs> right, thank you very much, Tim, and all the best in hold tomorrow. And see you next week for the oh, bees. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Lightning TV joined here with man of the match Liam Stewart. Hat trick and the game-winning goal, Liam. Is that all in the night's work for you? 
Uh, yeah, you know, obviously it feels good being the first regular season game back to get that. Um, most importantly, we, you know, we got out of deep water. Uh, luckily, Shawnee scored that goal and, uh, like I said, brought us out of deep water. We got to overtime, we got a point, and then luckily, you know, I just closed my eyes and shot the puck and it went in and got two points, and that's all that matters, really. Looked like quite frustrating at times. The Steel Dogs were definitely up there trying to disrupt the play and a little bit niggly at times. Was that just something you had to try and rise above and eventually overcome? Yeah, there were a few times we got a little uh, discombobulated and uh, guys were flying all over the place. But Sheffield's a good team and, uh, you know, obviously they won it last year and that was kind of a rematch here. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're a good team. They're skilled. You just got to watch them and stay man on man. And luckily we came out on top. Last time... We played the Steel Dogs was that playoff final. Was there a little bit for some of the guys who played in that final, a little bit of wanting a bit of revenge and getting that early advantage for this season? Yeah, there's always that little, like, kind of moose knuckle where you want to, everyone remembers it, um, and they want to, you know, prove a point that, you know, we should have won it. Um, and, you know, we put on, it was a good game. It was a really good game from both teams. Um, but, yeah, if only we could go back and go to playoff final again. But we can't, but hopefully we can do it again this year. Great stuff. All the best of luck tomorrow up in Hull, Liam, and thanks for joining us. Awesome. Thank you. See you.